Hello, so in the previous section, we did create a, the net, net prepare branch one manually, and then we created a template for the new branch, and you could see it here. And so what we did, we, we cloned the net prepare uh, BR1 to the branch, and, uh, and then we assigned the new uh, branch to the net prepare uh, template under the here one. And now when we create a new network, we just put, uh, specify that we want to use template and we want to use branch. So we could assign all the new branches or if we want whatever new branch to, we could have multiple templates here. Anyway, so this section we're going to do is uh, we're going to do um, create a new site using API calls. And, um, and the way you need to think about it is the same as like configuring a, a new branch on the Meraki dashboard. So you, st you start by creating a new network. You could assign it to a template or you could assign it to or clone it from an existing network. Or you could just uh, create a network that doesn't have any configuration and configuring it from scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it. Uh, we're not going to do it, assign it to a template because that's very uh, basic. What we're going to do is uh, it's just one API call to assign a new network to a template. So like, uh, very easy to do. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a network, clone it from the... So you're cloning from an existing network. We're going to clone it from that prepare BR1. And then we're going to change the VLANs, then the firewall rules, then the VPN, and so on, so on. Okay? So let's start. Uh, first thing what we need to do is actually uh, we need to set up the permit uh, API access. So under organization, setting, configuration, settings, you need to enable API access. So that's the first step. The second step, you go under your profile and you need to create a generate API key under API access. All right. So this is my API key. You specify that you have stored it. And then what we need to do is you could go under the help section here. You have API doc. Meraki has a very nice API doc. So it's pretty like it's very elaborate. You could uh, like, let's say you want to go create a new network. So just do network. All right, so here you have networks, uh, <coughs> return network. So remember the key that we get, we need to actually specify that in the header that this is our key. Uh, we're going to use Postman to perform all those actions. So, um, so this is our API key to get like our organization ID because we need our uh, this here. We need our network ID, but like to get the list of our network, we need our organization ID. So the way we do it is you look at the here you need to specify organization key uh, content type and the header also that's another header we need to specify that we need them in a json format so content what was it application json content type and send Right, so here we get like this is our org ID. So Meraki directly provided to us based on the key that we have uh, in the header. Now we, we need to get uh, the list of uh, networks that we have in our organization. So let's save that first. Right, so I've created here a, a folder naming it uh, Training Meraki New Site. So let's duplicate that. And here let's rename it. Uh, get networks so to get the networks you see here you need to specify the org ID and then specify the networks the org ID we already got and this is our org ID Right, and now we're gonna get all our networks. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, so we got our network, and this is our network ID for uh, the net repair branch one, which we're gonna use. And this is for the new branch, and this is for HQ. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop the video here. Just uh, I'm gonna try to make them as short as possible. The next video, we're gonna actually clone, uh, create a new branch, and copy all the configuration from the net repair branch one. Uh, please guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe, that would be really helpful. And thank you, see you in the next video.